Hey my Capricorns, this is Sarah Bay here. I'm with Flirty Savage Spirit and we're going to jump into your weekly love reading. What's going down in the boom boom with my Capricorns here. And let's actually end up pulling some oracles first. I am in the mood for a little oracle action this morning. Let's see, Capricorn, show me Capricorn. This week, we have a mature man. Okay, so someone could be dealing with someone that's older than them, or either them themselves are like an older guy, um, educated guy, very well versed, very a lot of wisdom that's here. Even if their age isn't older, they are a very calm, cool, and collective ish type of person. Unexpected income. Okay. So you may end up meeting this person unexpectedly um, or either you've been talking with this person, dealing with them, but you didn't expect for them to for you to actually like like them, maybe because of the age difference or the maturity difference or because, you know, you may be a little ratchet, Capricorn, you know what I'm saying? But this person is a little bit more educated, you know, They're a little bit more composed, uh, a little bit more chill, laid back than what you are. So maybe you thought that. You guys may have not. And it's so funny. I was looking at the number five here and I was thinking about change and then change flew out of the deck here, the number nine. So I also feel for some of you guys, you may come into some unexpected income, some unexpected money, and you could end up going on like a trip or something, or maybe you weren't planning on doing anything for the holidays, but then boom, you manifested some type of like new money income um, or something. So you end up going on this trip. And when you go on this trip, you end up meeting like a new guy or either this this guy like invites you somewhere, um, takes you out, wants you to go on a trip, wants you to go travel, wants you to go maybe even just ride around and listen to music for some odd reason that's coming up. Like I feel like that this person really likes music or either you do. And it could also mean that this person dropped a card. Sorry, you guys. I'm coming. Um, it could also be that this person, like, unexpectedly gets a uh, record deal or, you know, or they end up getting some unexpected money or, like, some type of offer and it ends up benefiting your relationship with them. Like, they're able to do more with you. Uh, sorry guys let's see here boom there we go all right falseness though so someone could have been claiming that they had it or someone could have been claiming that they was going to give up the kitty but then all of a sudden when they start spending that bank you know breaking sharing that bag with you then all of a sudden you kind of have a change of heart is what i'm kidding here um and i also just kind of feel like the falseness so so to speak could also be just your perception of this person they because this mature man is trying to make you his wife some type of wife and family is definitely involved here and I feel like that you may not be, you know, seeing that coming or it could be, could be this little motherfucker here is a doozer. And the falseness is that you didn't know that he actually had a wife. So that's another scenario for some of you guys. Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like the news of that would make you kind of melancholy, like, you know, I I didn't really like him. I feel like I didn't really like him like that. But now that I feel like that he has somebody else and he was trying to play me, like now I'm a little bit sad about it. Maybe you were trying to get some money out of, you know, like this particular person. And then it's like, boom, you got a whole wife, bro. Haughtiness is coming up too. So, yeah, I, I feel like that there are definitely some different angles to this situation just from the oracles that's here. I feel like that someone could be dealing with a married man, didn't know it or didn't or you're just finding out this falseness here. It's kind of making you sad because maybe that they can't spend any money or not spending money, spending any time with you 
but maybe they unexpectedly come and visit or plan a trip in order for you guys to actually be able to spend time together or for for him to keep you on the on the hook so you don't dip off and leave you know he got to keep his little pyt together you know and so he breaks you off a couple of coins or either, you know, he, he does something that prevents some type of change in order for you to stay. But other people, it could just mean that you're just dealing with a mature man and there is some unexpected stability that comes in from this person that changes the dynamic of your relationship. So let's see what Tarot has to say for my Capricorns. Five of Swords is in reverse. That's the mutual energy between the two of you guys. I definitely see that someone is trying to bring about resolve to a situation where somebody may have cussed somebody out, blanked off. And it could be because you found out that they are actually in a situation. Again, two pairs of fives here and then a five up here. So some type of change is going on. Your person or either you are feeling left out in the cold. Seems like that they may even be watching you from afar, um, maybe looking at you having fun or either you found out about this wife and now you're like watching from the outside. Like, I can't believe that he really has like a family that he's like involved in where it looks like he's happily married. Like now that somebody is over here sneaking and prying and looking on the outside, looking in on the situation. This could also just be your person just feeling like you put them out or you could have physically actually put them out of the house if you're not married to them. I get you with this nine of swords. I feel like that you're trying to act like that you're not concerned, but you may actually be concerned um, about the situation. But it's some some type of stress could have also been relieved in regards to the situation between the two of you guys. Again, six of pentacles is showing up here that matches with that unexpected income. There's some type of income that's coming in for you guys, um, Capricorn, whether or not it has something to do with this, this relationship, but it definitely does seem like a loan, a contract, or something ends up paying out for you. There also seems to be a balance that comes or someone's trying to give to this situation at some point in time. I also feel as though that you give less of fuck than than this person because I definitely feel like it's something that's that's going on over here. What is it? Four of Cups is in reverse. So this person feels as though that they left out in the cold because they had a missed opportunity with you. And it's not really sitting all that well with them. And I feel like that they are more deep in their feelings then what they care to let you know. Judgment day came for you. You made that executive order, that executive decision about either not reconnecting with a person or ending a long distance relationship that's here. Um, but there was definitely, you had a come to Jesus, so to speak, moment with yourself in regards to this relationship. The will of fortune is coming out. So either this situation was fated to happen or either... You guys will end up getting back together because of the will of fortune is is destiny for you guys to, to reconnect with each other. But whatever that is going on between you and your person, if you have a said person that you're thinking about right now, whatever energy that you guys are in right now, this is where you are supposed to be good or bad. This is where you are supposed to be. But know that the wheel is forever turning. So you won't always and forever be in this particular energy. I get your person trying to hold on for dear life to this situation. They don't want to let it go. They want to, you know, hold on to what they feel like is a good thing. They, they feel as though they missed this opportunity, but they want it back. That's here. Ace of Wands in reverse. Your new beginnings went sour is what I'm getting for you. Like you just don't have the same love or passion or whatever for this situation as what that you used to have um, for this person. Like it's like the you're you're it's like you just I don't I guess I can just say it like this. You know, you used to get very hot for them. And now you see them and be like, I don't even know why I even liked you. Like their whole shimmering goal has just kind of fell all the way off when it comes to you this week. So it definitely seems like, and mind you, we're just looking at the next seven days. So 
it definitely does seem to be like a lot of stagnant energy that's going to go on for the next seven days between you and this person. You could be dealing with an earth sign, um, a Taurus, another Capricorn or a Virgo that's here. I'm trying to figure out if there are any other signs that jumps out at me, but that's the only thing that really jumps out at me at the moment. Um, but I just feel like this, the next seven days is just going to be you kind of being stuck, like hanging on, trying to figure out exactly what you want to do, but not giving too much of a thought to the situation. For others of you, I don't feel like that this has to do with that initial thing of you actually meeting uh, this this wealthy ass old man or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's something different. So again, as always with all my reads, there'll be a couple of different scenarios that's going on. Um, I definitely feel like someone is dealing with someone that is in a relationship or is married with somebody and maybe you didn't know and then you found out this week but i feel like for some of you guys somebody is choosing you okay and that may be that will of fortune of it looks like that you know it looks like it may also get that check all your information before you jump to a conclusion on something make sure that the information that you get is correct because uh, yes somebody may be having some baby mama drama that's here but it may not be to the to that they are actually married maybe you're thinking that they're married to this person and then you make you know decisions based off of that assumption but at the end of the day they're not actually married or they're not married anymore or either they're actually separated well that throws that out the window for some people because yep they are cheating <laughs> so if you're your hunch or you figured it out that they are cheating you know that seems like why you've lost your thrill over here uh because this person was cheating so for the next seven days you're going to be like nah i'm kind of good and this person over here is going to be crying talking about no don't leave me yeah maya don't whatever new love is coming in again someone else had um this in their reading and it's going to have a lot of attraction a lot of love that's going to be in there and again that's it that change that retreat card that's here um as well so i feel like these oracles is going more so with the kipper cards at the top so i'm going to pretty much leave this here for some of you guys you're going through some shit the next seven days for the other you guys it seems like that there is an opportunity for some advancement and for a trip or a retreat that's going to go down all right don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i love you a long time see you next week for the weeklies or tomorrow for the dailies